I'm about to be under a liquid spell on this Bronco Sunday. Right? Uh huh. Oi! 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 Hey, hey! Who goes there? Much appreciated. Welcome to Bruce's Beck. Welcome to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you and your family? Uh, this Sunday has gone so great for me, and Saturday with the uh, Buffs and Broncos both winning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's get a, uh, get ahead of that McConaughey, and let's get to this beer. I acquired uh, multiple beers yesterday on National Drink Beer Day. Hopefully you were uh, celebrating that day as, as well as my anniversary of my channel. Uh, this one I had to save for today, even though it is supposed to be spectacular. Uh, got it from from uh, Handy Market in Burbank. Thank you, Mark, and uh, you know, always getting fantastic beers there, especially North Park. This one is North Park Beer Company out of San Diego. The Spell of the Sorcerer's Skull Part Two. Uh, they did have a first one, and I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, it is a collaboration with Brujos Brewing out of I think it's Portland. Let me just double check that. Yes, that is correct. Portland, uh, Oregon, um, which I've looked at it. That they, their uh, their motto is bringing. Uh, yes, at Brujos, they are crafting liquid spells. Is their motto. Uh, they do very good beers. Uh, rate very highly on there. I think it's like sixty something beers. So, whenever I'm up in that area, apparently I'm gonna have to stop by. But uh, anyway, this one is a big bad boy. Twelve on the Richter. Let's just keep going. Tap that in. Quadruple, triple dry hopped, uh, hazy uh, quad IPA. It says, the Brujos Overlord has returned to help us uh, with an encore of the legendary collab. We proudly introduce the Spell the Sorcerer's Skull Part 2. The triple dry hopped, hazy quad IPA isn't for the faint of heart. 12% and loaded with Citra, Crush, uh, Manalita, and Nelson hops. Take a whiff and you'll be hit with an overwhelming bouquet of... Uh, tropical notes, passion fruit, mango, and guava galore. Let your taste buds become entranced with bright citrus, lemongrass, mixed berries, and fresh stone fruit. Proceed with caution. This is a captivating one. Uh, that sounds fantastic. The original wasn't made with uh, cit or it was made with citra. It did not have crush and manalita and Nelson hops. The original had citra, galaxy, and Rocco hops. So it's going to be a little different than the original. Thus, they can actually say part two because it's not exactly the same thing. Um, I'm very stoked to try this. So far, rated very, has rated very, very high. Uh, 4.56 out of 5 on untapped. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. And I know two people that are my friends on untapped that have rated a 4.75. So I expect nothing but the best from this. Uh, hopefully your Sunday is going well. Let me know what you're drinking or watching or doing. Uh, I never know what you're doing out there. You're probably watching games, but um, yeah, let me know if you've had this or whatever you got. But let's get into it. Let's pop this bad boy. 12% on the Richter. All right. All I ever ask, please, please do me a solid and crush the hell out of that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That way we can sit down with cold drinks anytime you want, just like I always say. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. What's up, fam? Um, no squirrel out there. So, got the pretty nice big dome of foam right there. And this one is going to be ready to drink right now. All right, I am ready to dig in on this ready-to-go beer. Uh, two things about this. I've never heard of Manolita hops. They're supposed to give you sweet tropical red grapefruit and papaya and crush hops, which, by the way, I do have another North Park triple coming that is uh, uh, crush, uh, crush Collider or something, which involves crush hops. Very fruit-forward uh, stone fruit, citrus, and berries. So any kind of fruit uh, kind of hop, that's what you're going to want, want to go to. But... That's what we're looking at with this one. Very stoked to try this. See how it hits me. Uh, but cheers to you on your Sunday. Hopefully it's nice and relaxed. I know mine has been with two victories and the, you know the anniversary and beer beer day yesterday. So biggie ups. Let's get the aroma. I already smell nice. I would say like kind of rounded. Uh, I don't even want to say maybe strawberry, but okay. No, may, maybe a. Pe Peppery, I take that back. Pe peppery peach, maybe? 
Or peppery mango, I'm not sure, but. Dirty pineapple. I could see how you'd say guava, but. Um, I mean, this one is. <laughs> By the way, you can still apparently get this at North Park on tap. I don't know what they charge, but I assume this was probably like. 27 or 29 a four pack something like that i don't think they still sell cans but anyway uh cheers to your sunday let's get it cheers me with whatever gotten you whatever you got in front of you no words just emotions like and subscribe let's drink the damn quadruple hazy triple dry hopped ipa got a little Little kind of, I'm going to say, uh, you know, weed dankness going to it. It's good, though. This does not come off like 12. So far, it's coming off like like, like a, a proper triple, maybe like a 10%er. But I did pour all the good stuff. It was at the bottom, so. Yeah, you can see it. You can see quite the... Uh, Hop and malt explosion in there. Yeasty. Um, yeah, that is. Get some. Uh, get some pineapple. Get a little. Maybe a little guava. Yeah, I could. I could say. I'd say lemongrass, pineapple, guava, lemongrass. Definitely some. Uh, some peppery oats and uh, wheat. Obviously, as you can see how thick it is. Mouthfeel on this one is, um, uh, it's pretty huge. Um, I'm going to say 70 out of 100. And, uh, like I already said, I don't think it feels like 12 on the Richter or what it is. I kind of want to say it. Make one more try. This is very smooth, easy going down. At least, I mean, compared to a lager, no, but. This comes off just like, like I would I would have guessed a triple. I would have guessed uh, either a 9 or 10 percent or not not 12. So that extra couple percent, it's hidden. Uh, all right. I'm going to give my wife a taste of this. We're going to do a palate cleanser. I'm going to see what notes there are. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of football and uh, give this one a grade and get the hell out of here. Boom. All righty then. Sunday palate cleanser coming right up. I've got to break this quad hazy IPA that my wife described as yucky with some fantastic Devil's River agave bourbon whiskey with natural agave. Yummy. All right. Cheers to you. Cheers to my Broncos. Cheers to my buffs. Booyah. Someone, I'm not going to name who, but said, when's the last time the Buffs and the Broncos have won in back-to-back -back weekends like we just did? Maybe 2016 was my guess? I don't know. But let's get back to it. Um, I Two very polarizing different ends of comments. One very spe uh, specific, a MS on uh, untapped. Best beer of 24 for me so far pours dense, murky, light yellow with tall, uh, pillowy, off-white head. Nose is alcohol and diesel, medium to thick body, taste is strong resin like a pine tree from FDYITM, followed by a subtle strawberry. Uh, see, he was, uh, whoever this person was, noted seeing the strawberry. I do get the resin. I do get a little bit of what he's, what they're talking about with the uh, the diesel off of the nose, a little, little diesel fuel. There you go, Dad. Uh, but yeah, you, you just get like that like diesel dankness right off the nose. But I'm telling you, like you do get, um, and I think it's coming from the um, Manolita hops that are gonna supposed to have red grapefruit and uh, sweet tropical papaya. I feel like I'm getting that. But the other one uh, of the comments that was fantastic, simple and short, all these people rated this like a 4.75. Um, really, really solid. North Park doesn't miss on collabs. Wowza. And for the win, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Um, 4.75 out of 5. So, um, my wife, remember, my wife said yucky and could barely take this down. So, just really depends on uh, what kind of beer drinker you are. But, um, I'm sure she'd rather pre prefer a Rolling Rock any day over this. 
Isn't that right? She couldn't hear me. All right. Well, let's finish her up. I, I'm definitely getting all those things I said. Some fruits, some great or grapefruit, some strawberry, maybe some peach, maybe some diesel dankness. But let's slam it and let's finish out this Sunday and go go finish watching football. Booyah, Kasha. Slamming moment. See that right there? I'm gonna put a nice pil or pilsner in there and that's gonna be a nice, nice addition to that. But that is a beer. That tasted good. Um, okay, here we go. If you haven't already seen it, the second coming of the Spell of the Sorcerer's Skull um, Quad Hazy Triple Dry Hop. All right, Sunday review, stellar down to hell no. Hopefully you've had a great weekend. No, I have. Um, yeah, that's, uh, it's not, it's not the best thing I've ever had or anything, but it's absolutely, it's, a, it's absolutely up in the, uh, the stellar range. Stellar. I would definitely say just a, kind of like most people are saying, 97 out of 100. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, glad I was able to get a can of this. Thank you, Handy Market and Burbank. Trust me, go get your beers from them. You're not going to be disappointed. Booyah kasha. Here's to your Sunday. Here's to my football teams. Butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Uh, please, on that note, please give me a like and subscribe. I hope you're well. And, you know, say hi to the fam for me and have, have some bourbon tonight as well. So, peace.